Nestled inside the curves and turns of the Appalachian Mountains lies Zoo Knoxville in Knoxville, Tennessee. Just this year, the brand new First Bank Amphibian and Reptile Conservation Center was built. Let's go! As you pass the elegant doors, you get a taste of what's inside the first room. Before you go to any exhibits though, look up. You might catch a glimpse of the two-toed sloth. Thus far it has eluded me, but I will keep coming back until I find it. This is not a mammal house though, it's a reptile house, and we're in luck. Swimming in the rivers of Malaysia are a myriad of turtles along with some fish friends called shiners. Malayan flat-shelled turtles thrive in these waters, and can even be found as far south as Java. Weighing at 4.5 kilograms or 9.5 pounds, these can be some pretty beefy animals. For almost 19 years, these turtles will indulge in snails, arthropods, and aquatic plants. Leaving the shallow waters of Malaysia, we find ourselves in the land of lemurs, Madagascar. Lemurs share the island with turtles, and the Madagascar big-headed turtle steals the show. This critically endangered reptile survives on vegetation and the occasional small vertebrate. Traveling from east coast to the west coast of Africa, the African dwarf crocodile dominates the freshwater lakes, rivers, and streams. This 1.5 meter or 5 foot crocodile can live up to 100 years old. Only here at Zoo Knoxville can you get a perfect picture with both of these animals. Continuing west, we find ourselves nose to snout with the Cuban crocodile. They are only found in Cuba's Zapata Swamp. This freshwater loving reptile uses its camouflage and speed to avoid detection. Past the Serpent Guardians, a room of reptile royalty awaits. starting with the Pit Vipers. Rattlesnakes are known throughout the world as terrifying monsters. However, this banded rock rattlesnake only grows up to be 70 centimeters or 27 inches and prefer to eat small mammals. Like all rattlesnakes, they will shake their modified tail scales as a warning before striking in order to save their venom for prey. Alongside the banded rock rattlesnake, in southeastern Arizona lives the ridge-nosed rattlesnake. Raised crests run across the nose, giving this snake a unique look and its name. Back in Africa, the elusive Ethiopian mountain viper sits as one of the most unknown snakes in the world. Found only in small pockets of Ethiopia, this 130 centimeter or 51 inch snake blends into its surroundings using its green and black pattern.
terrorizing the mice of the eastern deciduous forest lives the copperhead. These members of the pit viper family use their color pattern not only to hunt, but also to hide from predators such as the broad-winged hawk. Watch out, they spit! Red spitting cobras can squeeze their venom glands to shoot a highly toxic mixture into the eyes of their prey that can even lead to blindness. But the king lives next door. Did you see them? The mighty king cobra. They are the longest venomous snake in the world, reaching up to 5.4 meters or 18 feet. This behemoth lives primarily in Southeast Asia. Though its venom is not the most potent of the cobras, it produces a ton with its huge venom glands. In the center of the room is a glass circle of African dwarf frogs creating a great photo opportunity. or a chance to stare in childlike wonder. The New Caledonian giant gecko is one of the largest in the world. This nocturnal lizard loves to feed on flowers, insects, and even small mammals. They can be found on the island of New Caledonia and can sometimes be found as pets. Adopt responsibly. Feasting upon deer and boar, the reticulated python can grow up to 6 meters or 20 feet long. It does this by squeezing its prey before devouring it whole. The vibrant colors of the golden poison frog could once be seen flashing in Central and South America. These colors are a warning. Don't touch me. I will kill you. It's best if one heeds this warning. Their poison can kill up to 10 men. Sadly, habitat loss has made this amphibian one of the most endangered frogs in the world. We travel from the jungle to the desert, where we find a San Esteban chuckwalla. These lizards can only be found on the San Esteban Islands in the California Gulf. Living among the chuckwalla are some very sociable colored lizards.
Just before leaving this room, you are given one last chance to glance back at the plethora of endangered reptiles and amphibians in one breathtaking sweep. But it doesn't end there. One last room housing a dozen or so small habitats is just before the exit. In each habitat are different species of turtles like this eastern box turtle. However, the best part is where you can glance in on the keepers as they look after the baby turtles just after hatching. As you exit the building, a boardwalk takes you past natural habitats that have some turtles and frogs. along with giving anyone brave enough a chance to be the frog. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment on how we could be doing better, and subscribe for more adventures with me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.